Welcome to another Control Hobbies tutorial. This video will discuss the available options for adjusting individual control surfaces during the initial model setup and in real time during flight for fine tuning purposes. When we build and set up our models, we spend a considerable amount of time getting the mechanics of our control surfaces as accurate as possible to ensure a symmetrical operation of each control surface with its counterpart. For example, when moving our flaps, we need them to travel the same distance in a linear way synchronized with our stick position. This is not always possible due to mechanical constraints such as differences in servo travel or horn's position, linkages that are often length or inaccurate installation of control horns. Having well-tuned control surfaces will improve the performance of your airplane and will ensure an accurate flight attitude during all phases of flight. This tutorial will show you how to set up your control surfaces using the servo set menu and the cross mixer link type in the free mixers menu. After creating your model, you will use the servo set menu to fine tune your control surfaces. You can perform the following operations in the servo set menu. Edit channel names. Change servo direction. Adjust sub trims. Make servo travel adjustments. Set your servo endpoints. Set a positive or negative delay for servo movements and balance the servo travel. Before making any servo adjustments on our radio, we should spend a fair amount of time getting all of our mechanical adjustments for each control surface as precise as possible. In the servo set menu, you will adjust your minimal and maximal servo throws and sub trims for each servo. The more sub trims you need, the more likely you have geometry issues causing non-linear travel of your control surfaces. You can fix this by using the servo balancer to adjust the servo travel to ensure that each control surface moves identically. We do this by matching the travel of each control surface, for example, left and right flap, to correspond with the control movement so that they will start and end at the same location and travel the same distance at each control movement. Before you start using the servo balancer, you should assign a proportional control to the flap channel in the control set menu and reset the subtrim values back to zero. To make changes to a curve point, move the control over the point to select it, or you can tap directly on the point. When a curve point is selected, it will turn orange. You can move the curve point using the arrow keys and watch the control surfaces move with the location of the point. The selected points can be moved over the X and Y axis to accommodate multiple positions along the curve. You will be moving your control along each curve point and matching it up with the other control surface until you receive a linear movement on each control surface. A good way to start is to first fix one control surface with the throws and curve points needed. After the first control surface is set, you can start matching the other control surface to follow the same path and distance. Move the control between the points along the curve and measure the travel distance of your reference surface to match the one you are working on. To match your reference control surface, you can remove points or add new ones along the curve to increase the resolution and movement accuracy. The time invested in balancing your control surfaces is rewarded with a better flying airplane, which is easier to set up and maintain. Your control surfaces will be linked and synchronized across all your radio's channel and mixer functions from this point onwards. This will simplify using all the preset mixers available in the function menu, such as phase trim, wing set, wing tail, differential, and air brake menu. However, there may be some use cases where the servo balancer is not sufficient to solve the geometry issue or when you need to make quick changes to control surface offsets without using the servo balancer. You can accomplish this in the free mixer menu by using the after cross mixer link type. For example, if we need to change only one of our aileron control surfaces, we can do this with a single mix as follows. From the function menu, we select free mixers. We create a new mix by tapping on the plus sign. Tap the from field and select the aileron channel. In the to field, we select the aileron channel again to create the mix. Tap on the detail menu to set up the mix. Change the curve type to a flat curve. 
Now tap on the link field and select the after cross mixer link type. To move the curve, tap on the center curve point, which will activate the controls from where you can move the point on the y-axis. You can move the curve on the y-axis until you reach the desired offset on your control surface. You can check the amount of deflection on your model and the servo monitor. The mix can be made flight phase dependent or global, and it can also be disabled with a switch. If you want to fine-tune the mix during flight, you can create a direct adjust function that gives you even further control over your geometry settings in real time. To create a direct adjust function, assign a digital trim or proportional control in the control field and set the minimum and maximum value you would like to have control over. During the flight, you can move the control to determine the best setting needed for an optimal geometry of your flight surface. After your tuning flight, you can use the number recorded in the output field as your reference value which you can use for the y-axis. Using the cross mixer link type has many possibilities and benefits. It provides additional options and flexibility for setting up control surfaces, such as in-flight adjustment, multi-curve point offsets, and flight phase-specific settings. Managing your different offsets for all your wing mixers can now be done in one menu. This reduces setup mistakes, especially with models that have multiple flight phases. Overall productivity is increased when setting up your models, as it eliminates the need for making multiple entries for each mix in the preset wing, tail, and phase trim menus. You can either use the servo set menu, cross mixer link type, or both to get the optimal results you need. This structured approach produces models that can be used as basic templates that can be easily exchanged between fellow pilots. Model-specific adjustments can be made at only two places, while all other settings can be based on manufacturer recommendations or pilot experience. This concludes the control surface setup tutorial. If you need additional support, do not hesitate to contact us. If you subscribe to our video channel, you will be automatically notified when new videos become available. Thank you for watching.